Hello and welcome to Project Baby Yoda. Today is a very cool episode. We're gonna show you how to take a normal pickup truck and make it much more usable for storage, for camping, and for adventures, and for not a lot of money. The first step in this DIY transformation is how to make the bed much more rugged and durable. Let's go to that right now. Like a lot of Tacomas, Baby Yoda at the moment has a plastic drop-in bed liner. And the disadvantage with a bed liner like this is that dirt, rocks, grime can get underneath in between the plastic bed liner and the paint and it can scratch through your paint which can cause rust especially when water and everything gets trapped underneath. So we're going to go with a more durable spray-in bed liner. So let's go ahead and start that process. Here's a little collection of some of the things that we found underneath the plastic bed liner. A little zip tie, a pencil, a bunch of bullet shells, twig, electrical connector, a washer. It's not bad. This is actually, looks really nice. And you can see where the paint has been rubbed away in a lot of places. But being that this has been a Colorado truck pretty much its whole life, luckily there's no rust. The process for spraying one of these bed liners is pretty simple. All you want to do is sand down the glossy surface there in your bed, tape everything off, and spray it once it's all clean in there. So cue the music. We're done sanding now and that's one of the hard parts of actually doing this, although not that bad. Now we're going to wipe everything down with acetone and then the other hard part-ish is taping everything off. Luckily this bed is pretty small so between sanding it and taping it off, not too bad. We are all prepped and ready to go. The bed is sanded, it's clean, the rest of the truck is masked off, and that means we've just got to mix our liner and the hardener and actually spray it. So the kit that we're using is Raptor Liner. This is the same kit that I used on my truck, minus two bottles because this is a much smaller bed. And basically what you do is you fill this bottle up to this line right here with hardener, you shake it up really well, you then thread it onto this nozzle, hook that up to the compressor, and you're good to go. Um, you can also roll it on, but I really like the way that you get texture out of the sprayed on bed liner, and I think it's a lot easier. Um, also, as a side note, Raptor Liner isn't paying us anything for this. This is just a kit that I've used a couple times before. It's the exact same kit, actually, that we used in a prior video to bed line the entire exterior of one of my friend's Toyota Tacomas. So I've had a little bit of experience with it, and nothing bad to say about it. So let's go ahead and get this all set up and start spraying. about it for this bottle, time to mix up another. Once your prep work is finished, spraying bed liner is actually a good bit of fun. So we each took turns behind the gun. And after two full coats on the bed of our Tacoma, we made sure to spray the last little bit of bed liner at a distance. That way you get that professional looking texture. What do you think, David? Do you like the Raptor liner? I do like it. It's like the, the, middle, the middle ground between the real deal and the rattle can. <laughs> yeah. But it's a pretty good middle ground. I like that. The middle ground between the real deal and the rattle can. <laughs> 
With the bed liner done, we needed to figure out a storage and sleeping solution for the back of this truck. And there are a lot of aftermarket solutions out there, but many of them are pretty expensive. And David is a really talented carpenter. So we decided to leave the Tacoma at his Happy Yak Ranch so that he could build us an awesome storage solution custom for not a lot of money and keep it lightweight by using strong plywood. After eight hours and less than 150 bucks, David had created a sleeping platform, but to see how it worked, we first needed to assemble the parts. That fits in there something, super snug. Something we should talk about though, is that normally if you put something like this in the bed, it's gonna slide around. Yeah. And so I wanted to make sure this didn't slide around. So what I did, on the bottom, I took advantage of the grooves oh, in the bed, yeah. and I put little runners in there that go in the grooves, and so that keeps it in this position all the time, so it's not just like sliding around. Because I was going to say, it, it slotted in there really sturdy, it, it right. feels like it's it's placed really well, it's not going to move. Yeah, and that's, that's critical, you want something that's durable, uh, will stay in its spot, but holds all your gear. We talked about how that we want to make it as as versatile as possible. So I wanted to have an area that you could actually walk in or crawl in once the bed cover's on. Right. Uh, but yet, I still wanted to be able to have a full bed, or I wanted a place to put big items in. So I left this trough open. Now, on this one, I went ahead and utilized the grooves in the bed as well. So this one sets in this groove. I made this one wider so that it fills up this whole groove. And so it kind of locks locks yeah. in there using the groove. It's in there really solid. It doesn't want to move. Yeah. And another thing I noticed too is how tight this is all matched. And look, it's it's even clearance for this little tie down. Well, hook and that right kind of even helps it lock into its space because it can't lift up and shake around when you're driving. So I made this out of really two and a half sheets of plywood. And I paid uh, for some really good plywood, I paid 40 bucks a sheet. So I've got $120 worth of plywood in here. And then I, I had a few pieces left over from another project of just pine. So I didn't use any hardware other than my nail gun and some screws. This is all out of plywood. And so I wanted to, show how that you could make a very economical, easy to use, lightweight, uh, very versatile project and not spend a whole lot of money. Look at that. Let's say it's raining and you're, you know, can't get out bed, but you want to be able to put your feet down. So I made this. You can just slide these down, get them out of the way. And you, can, you can sit up in here, you know, and put your boots on. As soon as people see this, they're going to be hammering on your door to get you to build them something exactly like this. Hey, well, anybody can build this. It's just out of plywood, glue, screws, and a few pin nails. Well, yeah, you make it sound easy, and you honestly make it look like it's very simple, but uh, to come up with something like this from scratch, is this is really impressive. Thank you. Well, that came out really, really cool, and the nice thing about the storage solution and the sleeping platform, it's completely removable, and it's removable super quick. And that's because David is really practical. He uses his trucks like trucks, and they still have to be tools. Now, in order to kind of complement that idea, we didn't want to go with a traditional rack system or a traditional hard topper that's heavy and cumbersome to remove, so we decided to go the route of a soft topper. This is a canvas area that allows protection from the weather, protection from the elements, but it's still super easy to fold back and use this Tacoma like a proper work truck. Here's how it was installed.
we reached out to our friends over at Softtopper who agreed to help us with the install. And as it turned out, it was super easy and took under 30 minutes. Here's how they did it. The first step was to attach the included side rails, which just attach via these clamps. Next up was the install of the metal frame, which gives the soft topper its shape. The third step is to attach the fabric to the frame and drape it over the top and along the sides. It secures to the metal bar via these snaps. The final step is optional, but you can attach Velcro to the tailgate via some double-sided tape, and that just cleans up the lines a little bit in the rear. Now, the great thing about the soft topper is it's super easy to install and super easy to remove. It's also relatively affordable compared to a full-on hardtop, and it's available across a huge variety of different trucks in a number of colors. With the soft topper fully installed, we can now finally take a look at what the entire camping solution is like all put together. So let's go ahead and fold up the soft topper so we can get a top down view. So there are multiple ways you can fold the soft topper. In this view, what I've done is I've just basically folded the uh, top and the sides up. So you kind of have this, um, what did you call it, the safari? Yeah, it's the safari angle. Yeah, yeah, the, the safari experience, uh, but the whole thing also pivots forward and we'll show you what we've done. All right, let's take a tour of our new home. This is our camping setup. So, as you can see, this is a sleeping platform right here on the left. We're actually waiting on a couple of mattresses that will be able to make this a lot more comfortable to sleep on rather than just putting a sleeping bag right on a wood surface. But we can still demonstrate how a lot of this works. So right here we've got our portable stove and this of course slides into the storage that we have underneath the sleeping platform and that goes the entire length of the bed. But let's say you're inside of here and the tailgate is closed capping that off and you have no way to get access to any of your stored items underneath your sleeping platform without getting outside. Well, you might not want to go outside because it's cold out there, so of course you can access all of this from the top. And the same is true with your side storage right here by the fender well. And because this is a long bed Tacoma, eh, it's not a bad place to be. Especially in safari mode with the sides rolled up. We've got all of these clipped in place, so it's kind of an open air experience. I'm liking it. Yeah, and the cool thing, Case, is that with the soft topper, you can just kind of undo these snaps along the top of this panel, and then fold the actual side down, and then they just kind of button in place. You also have storage in the side for like recovery gear, and that kind of stuff. It's really handy, and it's easy to take out, right, Case? Yeah, and the nice thing with this entire setup is that it's all very lightweight, it's modular, and it's inexpensive. Total, including the soft topper, the storage system, the sleeping pads, the bed liner, was 1250 bucks. And most hard shell toppers cost more than that. And the cool thing with the soft topper is you can actually hinge the whole thing forward, and then if you remove the sleeping mattress, and the sleeping bag, as well as all of the wooden structure. You've got full use of your bed. And then if you pull a couple pins here, you can actually pull out the whole folding mechanism as well. And in a matter of minutes, you can turn uh, your camper back into a pickup truck for hauling big, heavy loads. So it's super easy and super usable to kind of accommodate your life. Uh, whereas a hard shell and more of like a permanently integrated camping setup would take bolts and screws and a lot of time to kind of get uh, out of the way and uh, out of the bed, whereas this just fold out, plop that out, and you're good to go. So there you have it. This is our entire camping setup, minus the mattresses that we're waiting on, but there's still a lot of work left to do on this truck, and that includes suspension, tires, off-road bumpers, so be sure to stay tuned because once this is all put together, it's going to be auctioned off for a great cause, Mountain State's Children's Home. And we have to say a huge thanks to Soft Topper. They haven't sponsored this video, but they did help us out by installing and giving us this Soft Topper, so big thanks to them. Anyways, that's all for this video. Be sure to go back to TFL Classics for more videos on Baby Yoda and other classic vehicles, and we'll see you soon.